Hello grade 3, it's Mr. Yahya, and today we have lesson 22 grammar. Let's go over it, and let's start with page 104, okay? Let's all open page 104. So, this is our page. And we're going to revise today adjectives that compare. We've, we've done it before, even last quarter, okay? And we're going to revise it again right now. So we have adjectives are used to describe nouns. We know that, right? Adjectives can also be used to compare two or more nouns. Let's see. Add the ending ER to most adjectives to compare two nouns. And add EST to compare more than two nouns. So we have two nouns. We're going to add ER. If we have more than two nouns, we're going to we're going to add est. Like here, we have the adjective tall. When comparing between two things or two people, we're going to say taller. Like for example, uh, Mark is taller than David, right? Or here we can say that Mark is the tallest student in the class, right? There's more than two people in class, so. He's the tallest in the class, right? Same thing with high. With two people, higher. With more, highest. Large. With two, larger. With more than two nouns, largest. For example, Kim's hair is long. Morgan's hair is longer than Kim's. Jamie's hair is the longest of all. So we know that Kim has long hair, right? But Morgan has longer hair than Kim. What about Jamie? Jamie has the longest of them all. So Jamie's hair is longer than Morgan's and longer than Kim's, right? Okay. Write the correct form of the adjective in parentheses. Monarch butterflies are quick than turtles. What should we do to the word quick here? Butterflies and turtles. We have how many nouns? Two nouns. So we're going to add the ending ER, right? So monarch butterflies are quicker than turtles, right? Are quicker than. So we're going to put over here quicker, right? Excellent. Okay. Number two. One book showed that the butterfly was bright than the flower it landed on. The butterfly and what? The flower, right? These are the two nouns that we're comparing. Butterfly and flower. So we're going to say brighter, right? One book showed that the butterfly was brighter than the flower it landed on. So we're going to say brighter. Great job. Okay, number three. The long section in the book was about migration. So we're looking for what section in the whole book. The, the whole book has what? Many sections, more than two and more than three sections, right? So we're going to say what? The longest section. We're going to add EST to long. Longest section in the book was about migration. So we're going to say longest. Great job. Let's go to number four. Okay. Number four. Male monarchs are big than female monarchs. So we're talking about monarch butterflies here and we're going to say that we have how many nouns? Two nouns, right? Male monarchs and female uh, monarchs. So we're going to say male monarchs are bigger than female monarchs. And here we have the word bigger, right? It ends with a consonant and before it a vowel, the vowel I, right? So what are we going to do to the consonant over here? We're going to double it, right? So we're going to put two Gs, bigger than female monarch. So we're going to put B-I, double G, and then the E-R, bigger than. So we doubled the G, why? Because we have a consonant and a vowel right before it at the end of the word, okay? Same thing if we're going to say uh, maybe the word flat, F-L-A-T. If we're going to say flatter, it's going to be what? F-L-A, 
double T E R because T is a consonant and A is a vowel right before it at the end. Okay. Same thing if we're going to have EST, by the way. So big would be biggest with a double G. Okay. So we do the same thing with ER and EST to the end. Okay. If we need to double it, we're going to add ER after we double the consonant at the end or the EST. So we're going to say bigger, right? For number four, it's going to be bigger. Great job. Okay. So let's move on. Next, we have adverbs that compare, and this is page 105, okay? Page 105. We have adverbs that compare. Adverbs tell when, where, or how something happened. They can also be used to compare actions. Add the ending ER to adverbs to compare two actions, okay? To compare more than two actions, add the ending EST. So same thing as with adjectives. With adverbs, we add ER and EST as well. Okay, if it's two actions, ER. If it's more than two actions, then it's going to be EST. Okay, so we have an adverb here, late. It became between two actions, later. With more than two actions, latest. For example, uh, I came to school late, right? Or I came to school later than Michael. Or I can say I was the latest to come to school out of all the students, right? So let's see here our other adverbs. For example, we have quickly, more quickly, right? Or the most quickly. So we can sometimes even use more and most, right? If we can't add ER or we can't add EST, we're going to add what? more and most okay yeah fast faster and fastest right len jumped high i jumped higher than len and lou jumped the highest of all okay so len did jump high but i jumped higher so i was what more high than len when i jumped Okay, and Lou jumped the highest of all, so he jumped even higher than Len and higher than me, right? Okay. So, here we have questions. Write the correct form of the adverb in parentheses. I thought the, I thought the whale swam fast than the dolphin. So, we want to change the word fast. We have what? Two actions. The whale swimming and the dolphin swimming, right? So we're going to add what? ER, faster, right? Okay. So page 105. Number one, we're going to say faster. Okay, number two. Quickly. Sorry. Number two. Lee thought the, dol the dolphins swam the fast of all the animals we saw. So, the dolphins swimming and then all the animals that they saw swimming. So, we're comparing between what? More than two actions, right? So, we're going to say the fastest. And we always have a hint, right? If there's the, we're going to put the EST. If there's then after it, then we're going to put the ER, right? Okay, so the fastest of all the animals we saw. So we're going to say fastest. Great job. Number three. We talked softly than we do in school. So when they were talking around the dolphins, because they don't want to make the dolphins, what, afraid or run away. So they were talking, what, softly. They were talking, what, more softly than they did in school. So we talked more softly than we do in school. Okay? So we're going to add more over here. Why? Because just like quickly, ends with the L-Y, it's kind of hard to add an E-R or E-S-T to it. So we're going to add either more or most. So we're going to add more softly. All 
right, number four. The dolphin dived deep than the school of fish. So, so we have the dolphin and the school of fish. These are our two what actions or two nouns over here. And the dolphin dived what deeper than the school of fish. So we're going to say deeper. All right, great job. Okay, and we have this page over here, page 111. Let's do it as homework, okay? And it's just what practicing what we took in the last two pages, 104 and 105. So let's do page 111 as homework, okay? That's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the lesson. If any questions, just leave a comment below, and I'll be more than happy to answer all your questions, okay? And remember, page 111 is homework. Great job. Okay, see you guys later. Bye-bye.